Hey, my grown and sexies. Welcome to the Kansas City Two Step channel. I am Alicia, and today I am going to give you three really, really important tips for becoming a better two stepper. Now, this is for everybody, including beginners, especially for beginners. So, if you're just starting out, following these steps will help you evolve much more quicker than the average person. If you've been stepping for a while, let these tips help take you to the next level of your two-stepping journey. So let's get started. Um, tip number one, and I made this number one because if you can't do this, you're not going to be able to follow the other tips on this list. So tip number one, and I know it's cliche, but hear me out. Dance like no one is watching. That's tip number one. Bye, Felicia. What does that even mean? What does it mean to dance like no one is watching? To me, it's freedom, period. What? <laughs> when you dance like no one is watching, you are in your own zone. You ain't worried about nobody except yourself and your partner. You don't care who's looking at you. Check me you don't care what people think. You ain't tripping if you get off step, if you mess up. If anyone saw you mess up, you don't care, okay? You, we having fun, baby having a time of our lives oh my God. and this is so important because sometimes we can get caught up in our ego and that takes away from why we even started dancing in the first place you feel me so take it back to the basics what is your why why did you even start stepping in the first place was it to better your health was it because you were going through a breakup and you needed an outlet what's your why baby if you keep that at the forefront you can't go wrong all right tip number two dance with everybody okay and i mean everybody when i first started two-step and i made rules for myself because i wanted to be the best two-stepper that i could be so one of my rules was never turn down a dance unless somebody is being disrespectful or weird or I don't know if I if I'm uncomfortable then I ain't gonna dance with you but that that's very very rare so yeah I, I never turned down a dance and what that did for me was it helped me to get used to adjusting to multiple styles you know different vibes um, and it was so uncomfortable <clears throat> like it was so uncomfortable but me being the perfectionist i am I, you know i felt insecure i i messed up a lot but i forced myself to do it anyway and now i'm reaping the benefits you know the more you do something the easier it gets it's nothing for me to dance with a complete stranger now you know when a year ago i was terrified i also forced myself to dance with someone new every time i went out if possible you know, dancing with the same people over and over, it can stunt your growth. You need to be challenged. The more you challenge yourself, the more uncomfortable you are, the more you're going to learn, the more you're going to grow. You feel me? And everyone dances differently. So getting experience, dancing with multiple people is going to turn you into a beast, okay? And in doing this, every dance, I mean, it ain't gonna be perfect. Every dance ain't gonna be good. But even if the dance was horrible, I still learn something. You know, I go back to my dance coach and say, you know, he did this and I did this. Was he right? Did I mess up? So I'm learning in the process, you feel me? But that goes back to tip number one, you know? If you can't dance like nobody is watching, you ain't gonna wanna dance with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you have to not care. Okay, tip number three, y'all. Dance by yourself. Okay, at home, you should be practicing your basic moves on a daily basis. Practice your basics to one song per day. That's the bare minimum. And when I say practice, I mean be intentional. Really be focused and in the moment. No distractions, no kids running around, no TV on. It should just be you and your headphones and your music or whatever. Play your music, but it has to be focused, like really focused. Yeah. You should be paying attention to your body and how each move feels when you do it. If you notice that you're a little shaky on one or more of the basic moves, practice that move over and over to an entire song. It's gonna help you get grounded in that move and it's gonna help you figure out the best way 
for you to execute the move for your body type. I also suggest dancing by yourself when you're out in the clubs dancing. You know, this is a couple's dance, but if there's no one to dance with, I don't see a problem with getting on the dance floor, doing your basic moves, doing your warm up, you know, if you have one. When I first started two-stepping, you know, nobody knew me. So what I would do was go out on the floor and do the warm up that my dance coach taught me. And, you know, that's how I would get dances. I was nervous, I was uncomfortable, but you know, legs shaking like Bambi and shit. <laughs> but, you know, people would see me doing my own thing and that's how I got dances as a beginner. So I do encourage forcing yourself to get out there um, by yourself. You know, it builds confidence. Um, but I do have to say, this is a couple's dance um, and you must respect that. So, you know, if I'm on the dance floor dancing by myself and couples start to come out, you know, I move out of their way, you know? So be mindful of that, you know? Um, so let's recap. Tip number one, these are three three really important tips to help you become a better two-stepper. Tip number one, dance like no one is watching. Tip number two, dance with everybody. And tip number three, dance by yourself, baby. Question. Now, what tips would you add to this list? If there was two or three more tips on this list, what would you add? I have to say, you know, I am so grateful for you. Thank you for listening. I'm so excited for what's to come for you on your two-step journey. You know, when you dance like no one is watching, you are experiencing true freedom. There's no better feeling in the world. I love you, and I'll see you on the dance floor. <laughs> For information on the latest two-step and events, check us out at thekc2step.com and make sure to subscribe to this channel.